Hmm. I can't do Italian, so I don't know. Yeah. I'm going to go with Michelina. And let me know how I did. And while we wait on survey say, let's get this party started. We caught you this time. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get the serious one out of the way. And the only reason I really want to play this video is because I'm not saying I grew up on. I grew up with this, um, this thought process. Hmm. I didn't grow up with it being on the other side. Um, you know, I grew up poor, so I understood um, the thought process of doing this. Um, but this is looking fr looking at the same concept from a different economical standpoint. I let my husband cheat on me. My husband, who's 28, is wealthy, and he's providing me, a 30-year-old woman, with a great life while I'm studying. I would have never been able to afford it otherwise. As a matter of fact, I was a barista before I met him, and I didn't even dare to dream about starting college. Now, I'm in engineering school, and he pays for everything. We have a great house. I don't need to do anything but study and have fun. His best friend from college, a 27-year-old woman, separated from her common-law husband after he cheated on her. She had no place to go, and we have a guest house. I never had anything to worry about with them because they'd known each other for ages. I always thought that if they wanted to, it would have happened already, but I was mistaken. I started having a hunch because of nothing in particular. I just felt that they had changed with each other somehow, so I snuck in on them after pretending to go to my mom's. Nobody knows that I know. Afterwards, I couldn't let him touch me for two months, blaming it on stress from school. Now we do passionately hug, because I don't want him to suspect me or get tired of me. I cried the first time that he touched me after I found out, and I wanted to vomit, but I blamed it on stress. Now, I just let him. I try to think about other things and try to convince myself that it's just passionate hugging. I fake it sometimes when he notices me being absent-minded and start saying, Baby, come back to me. I'm in a race with time to finish school before he throws me aside for her. I also had an IUD inserted without telling him. Nobody knows. Not even my closest friends. Everyone thinks I'm the luckiest woman on earth. That I'm so loved and cherished by an amazing successful husband. Nobody knows that I cry myself to sleep every night. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Tracy. So, like I've said, so maybe my my what I said at the beginning would make more sense. I've seen it from my economical standpoint of people staying together surely because of economics. Right. Surely for that sole purpose of economics. It wasn't love. It wasn't caring. It wasn't anything other than the cheaper to keeper type thing guys and gals so but i saw it from that point so when i heard this story i thought okay i can see it from that point of view like the the serious the the worst type of fake it till you make it because <clears throat> sister is just pretty much saying as soon as she graduates and get a job she out but she came she can't pull that trigger right now because it's not in her best interest. It's, no, it's not to her convenience. No, it's different. Right, right. No. So she's literally... She talk to him. You know, the person that she chose as a husband and life partner. Uh, they, they obviously view this in the contractual sense. So... Um, and this is why, you know, 
jump a little bit of a tangent here. I wasn't even really going to say much about this one, but this is one of the reasons I get so um, annoyed. I don't get angry because it ain't got nothing to do with me, but I get annoyed with social media commentary where, and, th- and it comes from, this particular point comes from the women on social media who equate all things in a relationship to financial. And like, I try to tell them, look, that's fine if that's how you roll, just make sure you're ready for everything that comes with that. Because if I know the reason you're with me is because of my financial ability, then you become an, you become a commodity. And once I can get something better for the same money, then I'll switch you out and I'll get something better. Like, cause when, I mean, this is just a, this is a business transaction. And mm-hmm. that's kind of what the lady in the story is kind of hinting at is she's concerned that that's how he's going to view it. Right. She doesn't bring anything to it financially. She values things based on finances. He obviously doesn't value her as a partner. And then so she's like, as soon as he's tired of me, he'll switch me out and he'll, you know, get something else. Well, if you're willing to do this on a contractual basis, because I I feel no compassion for this woman. I just don't. And the reason why I don't is because she even said I'm staying because of what I can get out of him. And then once I can get what I need, I'll leave him. So she's not operating on principle. She's operating on what she wants to accomplish. And then further, just my last little piece of it, further with that, your sense of protecting yourself, which is a good point, but it's still stupid to me. You went and got an IUD so that you don't get pregnant. As though pregnancy is the worst thing that you stand to gain uh, to end up with with a, a partner who is sleeping with other people. Mm. I just don't get that that mm. mentality. I don't get it when dudes say it. <clears throat> like guys would say, well, I want a woman who, you know, she already had a C-section or uh, not a C-section. She's already had a, a um, hysterectomy. The tubes or, tied or, yeah. Or tubes tied or something like that because right. then I could shoot the club up. Like the worst thing that you can end up with as a kid that that stuff that'll kill you, cripple you, mess you all kind of ways up, Before and not to mention time. the damage you can do to other people. But that's the that's the extent of your thought process here. So, like this lady to me is toxic. Um, mm-hmm. She shouldn't be in that relationship with that man. I know that the tendency is going to be look at him. He doesn't respect her, and mm-hmm. and all of that. And maybe that I heard a lot of but, respect. No, I mean, From doesn't him. respect her, meaning that you're in a marriage with this woman and you bring your friend to move into your house and now are involved with your friend. That is not respecting her, right? That's severe disrespect. But that's like, it's wrong, but she's literally yeah. using him. So we got two bad guys in one story to me. Mm. Sorry, I missed the part that he actually, he brought the the twenty seven year old into yeah. the house, yep. which by Moved the way into the guest house. By the way, which is is real funny. So the twenty seven mm-hmm. year old that he brought in left her husband because the husband was cheap. Right. So so you got to go and move in to cheat. Well, well, that actually that part actually makes sense. We don't know. I mean, no, do that we? part makes sense. How would that part make sense? The way it makes sense is you got two people who are in a relationship, okay? And then one of them gets cheated on. So the one who gets cheated on, their whole world just got turned upside down, right? right. Whatever role they played in making a bad relationship, because I don't ever I don't ever let both people off, but whatever role they played in making a bad relationship, secondary. Fact is their partner cheated. So now this person has lost that symbol of their life. And now they have to go build a new life. Oftentimes, the person who gets cheated on wants a little bit of vindication, a little bit of get back. So then Mm -hmm. they go cheat. So it really makes sense that the woman that's left the husband who cheated on her then goes somewhere else and cheats. And then if she's that type of person who never really thought about being a cheater, now she's in a close proximity to someone that she knows, trusts. And has a strong relationship with. It makes cheating even easier. 
So, yeah, this is just one big toxic mess <laughs> that you have shared with us today. Was there ever confirmation in some kind of way that they, the best friends, were actually having a relationship? She called them. She said she snuck back in the house and she caught them. She caught them. Okay. And they didn't. Sorry, know. my mind is piecing this all together. Like, yeah, girl, you don't. You you never learn to love yourself. Get out. Well, she's garbage too. I'm just I'm standing sitting here. Yeah, I'm, I'm standing sitting here mm -hmm. You got anything, Tracy? And Tracy looking at me. I'm like, because you were on me. I'm like, I, I, I can hear you. Like, um, is Tracy mad at me? Is she ignore me? Like, yes, I am mad. The whole peppermint, no patty, no peas. Yeah, I haven't forgotten that. Why you bring that forward? You ain't want to talk about it. You didn't want. To... No, but I haven't forgotten that comment. No patty, no peas. But you ain't want to talk about it. But and anyway. I'm not after this. She's gar this lady is garbage. He's garbage <laughs> for cheating. The other dude is garbage for cheating on her. Then the one that got cheated on is garbage. There's four pieces of garbage in this whole story. The original man that cheated on the with the friend, I guess the friend. Then the husband, I guess they're married, cheating on the wife. And then the wife's mind, I just married him because he could pay for my education. Girl, go get a part-time job. Get a student loan. There's many other options that you have. You don't have to stay with somebody because of their money. Unless, and that's no, not fair to him. No. And it's not fair to him. Yeah, but you got to think about it this way. Do she care that it's not fair to him? But mm -hmm. that's the point. That's, that's the right point. At this point right now, she's looking he's at it. Him. But she's already said, I'm with him because he's paying for my education. I don't have right. any backbone of my own. This is a I'm business. just a leech. She married... She married the sugar daddy. Now, if it's a sugar daddy marriage, then everything is fair game. Yeah, because right? he knows. He he knows. Right. He married her for her looks and in, in her in her youth. She married him for his his resources. And then they they might have an open or quasi open or in his head open relationship. He's older than he him. Huh? No, she's but, older than him. But she's these older than him. But I'm saying it's still sugar daddy isn't about how old you are. It's about your financial position and the makeup of the relationship, right? So I'm, I'm if, sorry. I thought you just said that he was looking for something younger. And that's why I just I thought she was older than Oh, him. I see what you mean. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Oh, sorry, sorry. But if, if that's he's basically he is leasing sex. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And yeah. she so she's prostituting herself to him. Yeah. And he's leasing it out. And then he decided to go rent another car for the weekend. And, and uh, you got this whole thing going on. It's just a whole bunch of just mess. Just messy, messy, this, messy. They feel, I'm supposed it's to feel messy. sorry for somebody? I don't feel sorry for any of these people. No, I don't feel no. sorry for nobody. You don't have to feel sorry for anybody. No. I, I don't no like people who take advantage of people. I don't moment. like that. I don't feel sorry for nobody in this. Agreed, yes. All yeah. right, let's move on real quick. Um... Wow, that was well, all agreement. Think, that's that's, that's a rare thing. But, oh, that we all agree? Yes. Yeah, all four of us actually do. Mm -hmm. It won't happen again. Don't worry about it. It'll be a while. I ain't even going to worry about it. <coughs> It'll be President Theas by the time we all agree on one subject at the same time. <laughs> all right, let's move on. How did he you know that, Tracy? Girl. How did he know that? I Say, how did he know what we talked about on our in our in our um the Saturday show? Whoa, well, I was that going up with the as ran for Congress. No, 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 no. So let me tell y'all the backstory just real quick. Mm -hmm. So I had I talked about how I, I moved the Friday Fun Show to Tuesday because I'm gonna play. So mm -hmm. I said, name five people who shouldn't run for president and five people that should run. Well. Should run first person thing his name was himself. Like just right off the bat. I agree. Thank you, Anna. So when Marlon brought that up, I'm like, was he there? But you weren't there. <laughs> no, I I literally was going to 
jump on, but this, putting the show together was a little rougher than I thought. It was like, 